Hey everyone. Good evening. Good evening from uh, Lower Manhattan. Um, we were just discussing that there is a, a, a new person has identified themselves in the chat. Yes. So we wanted to start by saying hello to Bob Lewis on auto harp. We've never had an auto harp nope, on the session. We have not. And um, Bob, I know it's your first time here and you'll see all sorts of interesting, hopefully you think they're interesting things. Um, but one of the things is that um, we ask people to send in pictures or videos if they want them to be on a future broadcast. So um, if you so desire, you could send in some auto harp playing. Yeah, it's up to you. Please do. Yeah. Um, all right. So um, I hope everybody is staying safe out there. We were, uh, we were looking at the numbers in the New York Times earlier, and um, it's scary stuff. So please, um, please be careful and um, wear your masks and wash your hands and all of that sort of good stuff. Yes. Um, I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. And thanks to those of you who were here last week for the yeah. concert. We had fun, and then we just kind of slept for three days. Yeah. There have actually been <laughs> naps every day, I think, since Thanksgiving. One of us has napped yeah. each day since, since yeah. Thanksgiving. Yeah. It was a big push to get it all done. Yeah. But, um, thanks to everyone who watched. Yes. And thanks to everyone who uh, contributed. And yes. It was a great success by yeah. any measure, yeah. I think. And we're glad to be back at the session. And in fact, tonight is the 50th virtual session. Um, that deserves some applause, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. For all of us. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we did not think we would be doing 50 of these. No. <laughs> we actually thought we would be back to work by now. We did think that Certainly. quite, quite, uh, we thought that would have happened a while ago, actually. Yeah. And we're not sure how many more we'll do right now. We've got stuff scheduled up through the end of the year and we'll see if we go past then. I don't know. That'll take us to 52 actually, right? Yeah, 52 the... for the year. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, no there's going to be more. 54. 54. 54. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, we'll see. We'll see what happens. There's lots of stuff going on on the internet now, unlike at the start of the pandemic, yeah. but Thanks for sticking with us. I know some of you out there have probably been here for almost all 50 or yes. maybe some, but somebody's, I bet Mimi's been here for all 50 probably, and a few others. Anyways. Okay. So we're going to get started off with a set of tunes right off the bat here. Um, these first tunes are some slip jigs. Actually, they'd be more accurate, accurately called hop jigs. Um, and we're going to start off with the snowy path because Mimi actually reminded uh, myself and Bob via text today that there's a big storm coming tomorrow on the East Coast. Yep. I don't know if New York is actually going to get snow. It just looks like right now it's rain. Did you look at the forecast? Uh, yeah, I just saw the rain. I don't think it's cold enough yet. Yeah, but up upstate. I upstate, think. certainly. Yeah. So um, I hope you enjoy the snow if that's your thing. It's my thing. So I'm gonna, I'm going to yeah. enjoy the storm. I like storms. Uh, so we'll start with snowy path, and then we will go to fig for a kiss. And the last one is Boys of Balisadere, the, the slip jig, not the reel. Um, and the keys on these are D, E minor, and G. I did all that without looking at my notes. Quite impressive. proud of myself. Yeah. Impressive. All right. Okay. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Um, should we do two times each? Whatever you want. Two or three. Two or three. We'll, ca we'll call it as we go. Uh, okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
on the on the keyboard. Um, I forgot how many times we played it. Was that four? That was like three or four, yeah. Okay, well, I forgot that slip jigs are so short. Like, you can't really play them twice. You can, but then you're left unsatisfied. Exactly. So we had to we had to do at least three or four of those. Um, okay, so um, I, we probably only have one new person tonight. We're, it looks like we're a small group for the for the virtual session. But for anybody who is new, um, if you want more info, info about how this works, go look in the description of the video. And this whole thing, the whole 50 um, session set, is available here on YouTube. Um, there's a playlist, actually, where you can see all of the... Oh, you yeah. have to start working on the I know. Now that thing Thanksgiving again. is done, i got to work on the list again. Yeah. So if you don't know, most of you probably know, but I'm creating a list of, like a, an annotated list of all the tunes that have been played on all 50 sessions. With links through, to the yeah, session Yeah, with links to the session.org. So I'm up through number 25 right now, I think. Yeah, and we had I haven't paused. worked on it in a couple of weeks because we've been so busy with Thanksgiving and the holidays and all that. But Yeah. Yeah. But now we're Soon. still busy, be but, more. Yes. but slightly less busy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they're all available here on uh, on the YouTube playlist, and they are all uh, funded by community contributions. So we, we pay our leaders um, with money that is put in this box. Is it on your head? Yeah, it's, it's, on, on, head, it's yeah. on your head. And if you're looking for the notes, they're on the screen there. That's where you find them. Two nut supplies slash session dash notes. I didn't even see that it was it was it's there because yeah. I. Yeah. yeah, it's not actually in the air right here, like in our living room. It's, it's strange. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll, anyway. put, I'll put the link to the contribution um, box in the chat as well, so you can click on that. Uh, okay, so tonight um, we have some great leaders who are in-person Mario's friends of ours. Uh, unlike, like, we've had a lot of leaders that have never been to Mario's now. Yeah, but we've um, had a lot of leaders that we've never met. That's true. That's weird, and that's true. Or maybe not leaders, but a lot of a lot of special guests at least. Yeah, a yeah. few leaders. Um, so our our uh, our leader tonight on on the melody instrument is uh, John Radmond, and he is a Mario's favorite. He is the only person who has led the Mario session uh, more in person than I have since we started the Broadway show a few years ago. Yep. So we thought that it was only fitting that John would do the 50th session, along with um, we're calling him, uh, John's partner in crime, pandemic partner in crime, yes. uh, Matt Stapleton. They've done all their sessions together and they're all brilliant. So you should go back and check those out. Um, so they're the two leaders and we've got some special guests tonight as well, which we'll introduce later, but I'm just going to say that the theme tonight is hobbies that you've picked up in 2020. Uh, so a couple of you send in pictures. If anybody else wants to send in a picture, we can sometimes get those on screen. Um, send the pictures to the email address tunes at tune.supply. And um, uh, in fact, it, John actually sent in a picture. Yeah. John's got some too. great new hobbies, which he's going to explain. Yes. And Matt does as well. Yes. And we sort of do, which we'll talk we're, about. We're going to talk about our yeah. hobbies in, in a little bit. Anyways, okay, so we're going to get started um, here. And, and don't forget, um, you all at home, hopefully you're playing along. Um, you are free, of course, to sit and listen as well, but we're yeah. hoping that you play along at home. So here we go. First right. set from John and Matt. Hi, everyone. My name is John Redmond, and uh, with me tonight is uh, Matt Stapleton. Matt, good to see you again. You too, John. Always a pleasure. Thanks. Yeah, we haven't done this for a while, so it's, uh, it's nice to be playing some tunes together. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Hope everybody out there had a good Thanksgiving. And um, yeah, so we have a team for tonight, and it's uh, new hobbies or anything different that we might have taken up in 2020 that we hadn't that we hadn't touched on be that we hadn't gone near before um yeah um we chat about that and we're going to go straight into a set of tunes and um this is a set that was played in mirios a lot well two out of the three tunes the three tunes are were played are played a lot in mirios and um but not in this set so the uh the set is the rolling waves in the key of d and um out in the ocean in the key of g and the lilting banshee in the key of a minor and we're going to play them at a nice nice steady pace matt and twice each so these are in the keys of d a minor and g <laughs> 
All right, one, two, three. <laughs> start. Um, Harris was just remembering that um, that was the tune that we played, I think accidentally, actually, when um, we played with the reindeer. Yeah. Because remember, I was supposed to go into Kerpunkin, and I didn't. Yes. I went into that instead. Yes. Um, yeah, the reindeer actually, um, the reindeer run an excellent Facebook account, actually, if you, if you liked our visit with the reindeer. Um, you can go to Running Reindeer Ranch on Facebook, and they have all sorts of beautiful pictures especially yeah. like reindeer really lend themselves to the winter time yeah, yeah. um it, it's it's great um so so mary yeah um, mary from mary o's just sent us an amazing picture which um i'm going to try to put up on the screen here right now because we think that it might break the universe actually if we put this it, picture on the screen let's see yeah there we go <laughs> there it is so this is currently happening in in mary o's as we speak so we're hoping so that this is a little bit meta, right? <laughs> so hello to folks Hi, who are in Mario's. Yeah. Sorry to be disturbing your dinner, but um... <laughs> the dinner looks good. We can see it there. You yeah. can see um, in Mario's there's a there's a baby grand piano. So if you ever come to Mario's um, after the pandemic is over, yeah, the piano. <laughs> it's pretty funny. 
<laughs> um, and hi, Mary. <laughs> oh, t- this is a weird year. It's, it's a weird, weird year. year. Okay. So, um, hobby, our hobby. So, um, I, John suggested the, the theme, as he usually does. Yes. He comes up really, with really good themes. And um, I said, that sounds like a great theme. But then I was thinking, like, what have, what have we done for hobbies? And the thing is that we haven't really picked up any new hobbies or done any hobbies because we've been doing Tunes of Play yeah. 24-7 since March. Basically nonstop. <laughs> basically. Yeah. Um, so we did think of some things that we've done. Let's see, what did I think of? Oh, cooking. We've cooked a we lot. Cooked. Well, yeah. yeah, just like being inside, you know, restaurants are closed for a long time. We haven't been yep. going out. We haven't been ordering out much at all. No. So Last night I made um, balsamic vinegar cranberry sauce. That was good. Yeah, I don't know delicious. if you like it. I did. I had a little bit. <laughs> um, okay, what else do I have? Oh, I was going to show everybody my, my new waffle maker, but that's okay. Oh. I bought a tiny, a miniature waffle maker that one, makes one waffle at a time. That's. I mean, I guess all waffle makers do, but it's really, it's, it's ridiculous because you can't actually really eat very efficiently because it takes too long. Yeah. Especially with two people. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, gardening. Oh, yeah. We've been doing a little bit of indoor gardening. Yeah, I think I showed this before, but I'll, I'll show it really quick. Some of you who have been around uh, watching the session for a while might remember our plant tower. That was a failed experiment. Well, we have yeah. now a much better apartment-sized garden. And we're grows. still not good at this. We're not either. good at it, but it grows these really cute, delicious microgreens. But then they're so cute that we can't harvest them, which is, yeah. which is a problem. They become pets. Yeah. Okay, what else do I have here? Um, Oh, I've been listening to the radio, and I have this cute little radio here. It's holding up the Tradvent calendar. We're going to talk about that. Um, walking around and looking at things, which I never yeah. used to do before the pandemic. I never just... Just like discovering weird things in our neighborhood that we never knew were here. Yes. Yeah. We, we didn't have time. Didn't have time. Yeah. That's really um, nice. And, and working out inside, and this is my favorite discovery of the pandemic. Maybe you guys have these these workout bands that you like pull on. Yes. Although you have to be careful to get a good brand of yeah. bands, because Otherwise apparently the bad ones just snap. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all I could think of, and none of those are actually really hobbies, I yeah. have to say. Yeah. So it's John. Just normal things that we do. <laughs> John, excellent selection of theme, but we're not yeah. we're not very good at this yeah. one actually. Um, unlike uh, John. So what were the themes that John has done before? We had poetry and literature. That was really good, and um, not Star Wars. Uh, favorite movies. Was favorite really movies. Good. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys have um, uh, better suggestions for what your favorite uh, pandemic yes. hobbies are, then put them in the comments um, whenever you want to. Yeah. And we'll show some of the pictures you sent later. Uh, okay. More tunes? We've got a set of reels from Matt and John. Okay. Um, yeah. So Matt, what new things have you taken on board in 2020? New things. Well, uh, being home so much, I can tell you I've caught up on a lot of television and movies I've been meaning to watch. So there's that. Um, and uh, also a little interior decorating. I've redone my Ooh. entire living room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I started thinking about this theme, got a little bit depressed at first because I started realizing, wow, I wasted a lot of time. Um, that I could have been doing piles of other stuff. But did start baking bread. Yep. It's been adventurous, but <laughs> we're on we're on a path. And uh, yeah. Resumed yoga, which I had not been near for a while. And uh, yeah, so they were good. And a couple of other things. So interested in uh, hearing what it, everybody else has done. I'm sure there's some fascinating stuff uh, going to come in on the on the chat. And um, so we're going to continue with a set of reels. And these are, yeah, um, yeah, familiar tunes. Also, the uh, torn jacket is the first one and uh, Swinging on the Gate, the second, and the Silver Spear, third. So D, G, D. And um, yeah, twice each, Matt. One, two, three, and.
And I just want to foreshadow, we do have Peter Rahill's woo queued up, but it's not going to happen just yet. It's going to mm. happen later. Yeah. Because Peter Rahill submitted perhaps the most creative woo that we have had submitted thus far. Yes, it's lengthy and <laughs> um, involved. I've never heard it wooed, if that's a verb, I'm not sure, at a session like this. But we're, this is all foreshadowing. It's going to happen yeah. a little bit later. Yeah. Um, so uh, Bob um, Beamers was wondering what Avocado's outfit is. And this is Avocado's holiday outfit made out of things that came in the mail. Yeah. Um, this was a, what was this from? That was protecting a wine bottle, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so Avocado's wearing it as a, um, a fishnet um, bodysuit yeah. <laughs> for the holidays. And um, this is from some uh, cookies that, that Mimi yeah. sent to us. Yeah, so yeah. there we go. And Avocado ha had a child, actually. Yeah. We were, we were going to do some typical uh, Caitlin and Chris um, ridiculousness to introduce the child, but we're just uh, we're a little too busy and crazed right now. So this is, this is the child here. I don't know. It, it's quite small still. Maybe yeah. it will grow. So I don't know if you can see it, but um, its name is Dragon Fruit. Mm -hmm. And we don't know how this came to be. Don't know how it happened. I think when Avocado was in Alaska, uh, he or she may have had a dalliance with a, another prehistoric animal yeah. up there. Because there are a lot of fossils up yeah, there. So we're not sure. Why are you falling over? <laughs> okay. Anyways, okay, that's the Avocado news. Um, we mentioned earlier, uh, thank you for, to everybody who came to the Thanksgiving concert. We had, um, uh, how many musicians? 70. 70 it ended musicians. up being 70 yep. on the dot. Including us. In, including us yeah. and uh there were over 900 people watching at once yeah. uh and then about 17,000 people stopped in on on through the course of the three-hour show so thank you to everybody who um who came out and donated or contributed um it was a great success the other thing that happened was that mary who might be watching um sent a feast to our door and we just want to show the picture because it was it was so good um, that is the turkey, a whole turkey. I've never had a whole turkey, actually, mm -hmm. like my yeah. own turkey. And note the bacon strips. Oh, there's top. bacon. Yeah, there's yeah. bacon. And there's a lemon. Yeah, I think it was an orange. Oh, sorry, yeah. an orange. Um, this is only like, these pictures are only like half of the food yeah. that came. Yeah. So uh, that was some side dishes, um, some pumpkin bread. Oh, my oh, goodness. That was good. And the custard. Custard. Cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce, yeah. Um, Okay, this is the before picture yeah. when we loaded up the plates, and then we have an after picture. Yep. Yeah. And we had four whole feasts like that. Mm -hmm. Plus, we made stock out of the turkey body and um, soup and out soup of the out stock, of stock with yep. extra turkey. Yep. So thank you, Mary, um, for sending that down, and we hope that you all had a, a feast of some sort, or not. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like usually on Thanksgiving I don't have a feast. I'd have like macaroni and cheese or something, whatever is yeah. available. <laughs> but um, thank you, Mary, for sending it. It was spectacular. Um, okay, so we have our first guest of the night, and um, I asked Martin to send me a primer on how to properly say his name because I'm not good at pronunciation, and he he didn't. So Chris is gonna say his name. Martin de Kogan. See, you're perfect at it. I can't. I, I can't. Do I might it. be wrong. <laughs> Anyways, um, Martin was on the uh, con the concert last week. He did a, um, a lovely uh, song, and he's going to do a little song tonight as well. Yes, here we go. And he's over in uh, San Diego. Yes, and he's outside, so enjoy the beautiful yeah. scenery. Hello. How are you getting on? How are you doing? How's the session going? Well, I'm delighted to be here again with the tune supply. And with that, I'm going to sing you a song called Neil the Law. I got it from Jimmy Crowley, and I recorded it with the Fuchsia band Long Go. It's a song as Gaelge in the Munster Irish. There's a couple of different versions of this now. You might have learnt maybe the one from the north of Ireland, but this is the one from the south. And of course, it's kind of a song that goes across all languages and most cultures, where a man goes into the bar and he gives the lady behind the bar all his money and she feeds him with drink and then when he's full of drink and empty of money he wants a bit of maybe cuddling and she says would you ever get out of it 
go away home. Your cows are looking to be milked. And he says, ah, go away out that. Tis not morning at all. Tis only you mocking me. And sure, that's how it is. Ah, sure. Will we be back in the bar soon to be doing that kind of crack? Hopefully we will. But sure, between now and then, we can always dream. Right? Sing along with the chorus if you like. It goes something like this. And this is, Rob Faulkner gave me this as a gift. It's called Brenda. Do you hear it? Anyway. <laughs> goes something like this. Tana guiri gigi aur is tana gaun e gol banyam. Prati shi is kandilo haun is dana gan vyaur na raifa vale nil na la na na la nil na la na na vadin nil na la na na la akbandara is he mar vagan. Is das vani shavano gun nuri ni son tup is pra mer fi ani or is ring kir board is pocket bulle nil na la na na la nil na la na na vadin nil na la na na la pandara is he mar vagan. Don't send me out into the dark. The night is cold and I'll be perished. Come to bed with me a while. We'll have a roll around the blankets. Kneel the la na na la. Kneel the la na na. Why didn't kneel the la na na la? Agbandara is he mar vagan. Pulum sources, pulum shears, pulum clone, ervan, lana, kodum gini, buir more, this be me golon so gomadin, kneel the la, na na la, kneel the la, na na, vadin, kneel the la, na na la, akbandara is he mar vagan. Thomas toki digan all is Tom Brogo, digan lana. Tana kuli gleer gleek is me dosa dal avalen nil na la na na la nil na la na na vadin nil na la na na la kvandara is he mar vagan nil na la na na la nil na la na na vadin nil na la na na la kvandara is he mar vaga. Um, Kim Harris said, oh good, I can see him this time because yes. on the Thanksgiving concert, he was wearing like a kind of camo, camouflage shirt yeah. or was it leaves or? I, I don't know. It, it totally was... blended into the trees. Yes. It's amazing. <laughs> and I was wondering if that was the outfit he always records in, but apparently not. Yeah. So we can see him this, this time. Um, that was awesome. I, um, I've heard that song since I was pretty young. I had a friend who, who used to sing it, um, up yeah. in Alaska. So brought back good memories um it's a universal theme yes yes <laughs> okay so we have a very exciting thing to show you some of you might have seen this on um on facebook or on the email i'm not sure but we have Drive the events. advent Woo! calendars the actual physical calendars um they are cooler than i thought they were going to be they're very cool so there this is the front side and then there's some this the back side's not as cool but it's got some words on it and uh yeah. it's scratch off and um they are sold out sold out and if you ordered one they're all in the mail in fact i think a few of them have already been delivered yes some um, local ones here in new york city did bob's get delivered bob's was delivered yeah, yeah. i don't know if bob's watching so um yeah so we're really excited about these um you can still participate in Tradvent. actually this is like the least of what's happening for Tradvent. It, it's yes <laughs> like if you it's only, not just a piece of paper no if you only got this you would all you would be able to do is scratch these boxes off and they'd have names of musicians under them which is like yes it's it's actually cooler than that it's um each one of the musicians who's under these boxes actually some of them there's more than one yeah um uh are playing a video um either a performance or a lesson six lessons through scattered mm -hmm. throughout and the videos will be delivered to you every day at 2 p.m via email and they'll also be on a secret website where you can go if you don't want to if it's top secret yeah it's top yeah. secret yeah. um anyways th this all starts on december 8th you can still pr uh, sign up for the digital part which is the videos which is the important part yes. if you want for a little less than the tradvent calendar costs um, over on the on the Tunesplay store, which is store.tune.supply. Yes. Um, 
But for those of you who have these in the mail, I'm so excited for you. They're coming soon. Yeah, so uh, let us know what you think. Um, we oh, here's the beautiful logo, by the way. Oh, trying, oh, yes, it is. Oh, this would make a good quilt or something. It would, yeah. Yeah. Um, we got word that uh, pretty a pretty cool big name group is going to join for one of the videos with Daniel Emblem, the yes. Friel sisters. Yep. Um, and and also Anna Lethert. That's going to be a yeah. big big one. I was just about to say the day that they're on, but I'm gonna. Got to be surprised. It's gonna That's be a surprise. Yeah. Um, okay. So sign up by January seventh if you want to be in on December that because. Because Travin is long gone by January seventh. Sign up by December seventh, which is. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Monday. Yes, I'm glad you're here to. <laughs> I always get all the dates wrong. If you've ever seen a, a date error in any Toon Spy stuff, it was me. It's literally every time. Yeah. <laughs> It is. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Anyways, we should have some more tunes. Um, back to John Amet? Yeah, we got more from John Amet. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Um, you jigs, Matt? Yeah, sure. What do you have in mind? This is a, a set especially for TJ. TJ, hope you're well, buddy. Um, it is... Timmy Clifford's into Stan Chapman's into the Miller's Maggot. So the keys of G, A major, and uh, G. And twice each, Matt. All right. One, two, three, and. All right, Matt, let's start again. <laughs> One, two, three, and... Thank you. 
false start, everybody. <laughs> but we got there. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. It's a, um, we are we are being as authentic as we can, even on the internet with the false starts and yes. those <laughs> mistakes, which I've made a number of myself. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> um, excellent. Okay, so it is it is halftime. Um, we should probably say what halftime is for Bob on Otter Harp. Um, this is a uh, Bob. I don't know if you've been to the in-person session, but um, wow, there's a strange sound outside. Do you hear that? Yeah. Somebody's We're got a lot the... of floors up in the air, and we can hear somebody's loud. Car somebody's stereo. loud speakers. All right. Okay. Um, anyways, uh, that reminds me of uh, what, what? What was a look? There's a squirrel. A look. There's oh, yes. a yes. Look, squirrel. Look, there's a mouse up in Alaska. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, at the halftime uh, in 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 real life. Uh, uh, Mimi Buell, Miriam Buell, um, recites a poem, and we have continued that tradition. And this is this is the 50th ses session, so we have to have a poem. Yes. Um, I haven't seen it yet. Is it good? Is I there a dog? Seen it. Oh, okay. So here's poem number Here 15. Hi, Mario's friends. A very very bad poem tonight about the weather. Here to the nor'east, a nor'easter is heading. Some of us lightweights, the snow we are dreading. But not the Alaskan who's hunkered downtown. She'll put on her long janes and bundle up in down. And there, in a nutshell, is life, don't you know? You can fight against fate and the harsh winds that blow. Or you can embrace the storms and see what they bring. Because what follows winter? The coming of spring. Hope you're all doing fine, staying safe, wearing your mask. Um, Amos is a little a little alarmed by my props. Um, <laughs> and please chip into the box if you can. Um, happy, happy Hanukkah to those who are celebrating. And um, eat your kibble. Bye. Wow. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was particularly good for poem number 50. Yeah, I yeah. love the props. Yeah. Um, what... Did anybody catch what Amos's hat says? I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. Yeah. Uh, Mimi, you'll have to tell us. Um, <laughs> that was so great. And I see that Mimi, actually, we didn't plan this, but I did have the humming burb, as we call it, that is in the Toonsplay logo. We made it into little stickers, yeah. and um, that's what that's what, um, <laughs> that's what Mimi had there. Mimi's spatula. <laughs> that might have been what was alarming Amos. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. Really nice Anyways. visual aids there, Mimi. Like Very this. nice. Yeah. And it is true that the, the spring and the summer will come eventually. Um, I do like winter. I, yes, I probably made that, made that known to people. Um, but first we got to get through the winter. Yep. Anyway, like Mimi said, if you've got a few bucks um, and you don't mind throwing them into the box, that would be very appreciated. We pay all of our uh, guests and leaders the regular New York City gig wage, which... Sadly, it's not as much as we'd like it to be. Right but... now, it's zero. Yes. I mean, we pay yeah. <laughs> we pay them a pre-COVID wage. Yeah. Um, I I was smiling there because um, I don't know how many times since this started that I have asked for contributions. Yeah. And now you just did it, and it was great. No, oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel great, but no. <laughs> if you got a few bucks here, you can imagine your your coins dropping into this lovely box here. And yes. You can and imagine Guinness. drinking that. Uh, Excellent pint of Guinness there. Yep. Playing with Kevin Crawford. Yes. Um, okay. So uh, we're going to have another guest. Uh, um, you may have noticed that on the schedule tonight, it was supposed to be, as our second guest, uh, Santiago Molina, Isaac Alderson, and I doing a trio. We did not get to that. Oh, Santiago did. He yes. He's been done with his part for weeks. Um, it was Isaac and I who um, dropped the ball. So we have rescheduled that to later this month, and instead we are, we're going to have a super treat, which is the Aiden Connolly, um, who's I I don't want to play favorites, but he's like my new favorite fiddle player. Yeah, um, he's, he's phenomenal. incredible. Um, he's actually going to be on right now in just a second, and then he's also going to be on next week playing a duet with uh, Anna Carlton. So yeah. um, let's welcome Aiden. Hello there, everybody. My name is Aiden. I'm here in Dublin. Um, wishing you all a very happy Christmas um, and delighted to be involved once again with the sessions. So thanks very much to Kate and Chris uh, for including me. It's always a pleasure. So um, yeah, so wishing you all happy holidays. Um, I'm going to play you three waltzes now. Um, the first two I got from Graham Townsend. Uh, he was a terrific uh, fiddle player from Canada. Um, a lot of his stuff up on YouTube. 
President Kennedy's Waltz and Waltzing Through the Leaves are the name of them. And the third one then is, is from Shetland Island uh, off the coast of Scotland. It's called Ivan and Eleanor's Wedding. So I hope you enjoy these and uh, happy holidays once again. are some amazing tunes. Great tunes i need to learn them especially like i'm imagining the backing especially yeah. your backing behind those would be great yeah it's so cool um and I, I think that we haven't had any waltzes on the session except ones that we've done i i think or not I'm very not, sure. not yeah. very many not very many waltzes so that was um, cool i can't believe aiden is showing us those tunes those are great tunes i'm gonna yeah. steal them they are great yeah. and the names too president kennedy's waltz yeah it's really cool um, and Aiden and will be back next week as well. Uh, For with, more? with, with Anna. Anna. With yeah. Anna. Yeah, his set with Anna on this Thanksgiving concert was one of my favorites. One of my top sets. Oh yeah. my gosh, so, so good. More of that next week. Yes. Okay. And Peter Ray Hill, don't worry. Your 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 moment in the limelight your is coming, coming up uh, after community pictures, which we're going to show now. So these are ones that you guys all sent in of your um, pandemic hobbies, 2020 hobbies. So and Chris is going to help with this. First off, of course, is Angela Botserv, who picked up a new drawing hobby. Very nice. Okay, Jill Yeager sent in two. <laughs> this is uh, playing Mexican train dominoes with a cat. That's great. <laughs> and also her t-shirt quilt, which she said 
she's been uh, working on for quite some time. As a quilter myself, I have to say that the best quilting projects take like years or decades. And t-shirt quilts are actually really hard because yeah. the material is too um, soft. Oh, right. It's really hard right. to do. Uh, okay, John Redman mentioned that he's been baking bread. And oh, wow. uh, here it is. Here's a beautiful loaf. Soda bread. Mm -hmm. Okay, Laura Johnson has been getting into gnome knitting <laughs> as well as playing the mandolin. Did she say that she has a... Hold on, I have to get the exact words because it was okay. really good. Do you do you remember what she said here? No. Um, she has uh, become a gnome knitting addict oh, yes, during right, COVID. Right, right, right. And she fully admits it. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay, Rogan's new hobby is forcing the family dog to participate in Tune Supply theme ideas. Which we love. Please That's continue. Great. Yeah, good. Very good. <laughs> Um, TJ sent in a couple pictures here. One of TJ's hobbies is going to cool general aviation airports and eating at their outdoor cafes. Oh, and also TJ flies airplanes. We just want to say, like, yes. it's cooler than that. Even. It is cooler than that. But, um, and also, of course, washing tunes apart. <laughs> With avocado. With avocado. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, and we had a couple more from um, Ricky and Melinda that I'm going to show that just came in. They've been building a music deck. Or maybe it was already built, but they've been using it. Here's their summer music deck. They called it, I think, a music nest, the music which I nest, liked that's the great. idea. Yeah. They're in, um, in North, North Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. Yep. And uh, here's the warm weather version with a nice uh, fire, a couple of fires going. And is that a roof on the top? I think so. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Really nice. Amazing. Great um, submissions, everyone. Cool. Uh, we have not gotten into the bread break baking somehow. No, though like... we do have two pounds of yeast sitting in <laughs> yes. the closet, thanks to my friend Maria, who, um, yes. who sent us that a while ago. So maybe somebody out there who has learned how to bake bread during the pandemic, uh, which is, I think, almost everybody except yeah. for us, uh, you should give us some hints, because we still have a little flour left over, actually, from when we... we um... From the great flour and baking powder shortage of earlier 2020. Yes. Okay, Peter? Oh, Yes. So, do you want to explain this? I think you should. Okay. Well, um, Peter sent in the Southern California version <laughs> of a woo or a hup, which we're going to um, play for you now. Okay. Whoa, dude. That was so gnarly, dude. Whoa. <laughs> all right. So, woo! all you Southern California folks left to let us know if that was accurate or not. Yeah. Like, is that how you actually <laughs> woo at the end of a... Who a knows? set in Southern California? Because I don't knows? think I've been to a session in so Southern California. No, I haven't. Right? Did we go in San Diego? No. Um, that's pretty spectacular. And there's a longer version of it, too, which we may play at some time. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see. Um, thank you, Peter. <laughs> for that. That's, that's, that's got to like, be one of the most creative woo submissions we've had. Yeah. And there's been some good ones. Like, there's a dog one. It's, and, up, it's certainly up there with the dogs. Yeah. 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 It's great. So, um, thank you. And if anybody else has other woos they want to send in. Yeah. Uh, please, please do so. Um, we can keep them anonymous. Also, we do have yes, some anonymous they, have contributions. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. I think we're we've got another set from uh, John and Matt. Here we go. Yeah, you know, just thinking. I I did set a lot aside, quite a bit more time in uh, 2020 to practice the uh, concertina. So, if practicing can be viewed as a hobby. Um, yeah, then that's a that's a new hobby, and uh, I did set aside some time to uh, work on a an extremely poor chess game, and um, so that's been that's been fun. And Matt, anything pop into your head? Yeah, well, speaking of practice, I've been. Spending a little time with the bazooki lately, so getting up to speed on that. And also, I've been um, decimating John Redmond in chess. Cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's continue with a few tunes. Um, two reels into a jig. Uh, the first reel is the Galway Rambler. And actually, no, three reels into a jig. The, the mountain road into the Galway Rambler, into the Congress, and then we'll finish off with Schlieve Russell. All right, so DG A minor, A minor. 
Uh, yeah, as soon as the four tunes map uh, twice each, even though the first one is single. Cool. All right. One, two, three, and... John has some good woos. We should see if we can. Yeah. We get to steal them from yes. him. Yes, yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, uh, that was lovely. 
Uh, okay, I see that Ruby Hoy is here, and I just wanted to mention, I took down the Tradvent calendar, um, and right here is a book of poetry that Ruby wrote. Yes. She sent it to us in the mail the other day, and um, we haven't had a chance to read it, but it's up on the up on the display wall yes. now. We're really excited <laughs> about it. Otherwise known as the studio. Yeah. Um, behind it, actually, there's a book that we put up there many weeks ago, and nobody has commented on. Yeah. Um, here, let me take this down. I was sure that somebody would notice it, but I'm gonna. There might be too. There might be too much glare. On oh, the maybe you can't see it. I don't know. Um, this is a um, another present from a student of mine. Yeah. Um, Fiddle for Dummies. Yeah. And I have to say, it's actually quite good. I was reading a bit of it. Um, I disagree with some of the part about Irish um, Boeings, but um, a lot of it's quite good. It's some good di yeah. diagrams and stuff. That's but anyways, good. thank you, Ruby, Thanks, for the Ruby. book. We're looking forward to it. Uh, okay, I just wanted to mention real quick some things about the December tune supply um, schedule because it changed a little bit. We were going to do a, another giant holiday concert, which we're not going to do now because uh, many reasons, but it's too close to the giant concert that we just did yeah. is a ma major reason. And there's tons of stuff online for the holidays. And so we're, we decided we're going to scoot that back to January when there might be less going on. It'll be the middle of winter and people might need pick me up so we will let you know when that happens but uh, we won't do an epic um, holiday concert right. but there's other stuff going on uh, one thing is Johnny Cuomo is doing the third episode third and final I think but I'm not sure episode of Tales and Tunes which is his uh, kids show kids internet show yeah. and that'll be on uh, December 19th I think that's a Saturday it's fun for ki for adults too. It's fun for adults yeah. too, yes. But it's geared at kids because yeah. um, Johnny is an amazing educator. Yeah. So that's Saturday the nineteenth. I think at eleven a.m. Yeah. Eastern. I think. Yep. Um, features lots of cute kids. Yes. And music and songs and Johnny's kids. And then we're going to do special sessions on the twenty fourth, Christmas Eve, and the thirty first, New Year's Eve, mm -hmm. um, instead of doing a big concert. And we're going to feature um, David Munnelly. Which I'm really excited about on Pretty accordion. Cool. On the, box player. Yes, uh, incredible, incredible yeah. player on the on the 24th, and then on the 31st we're going to do, uh, we're going to attempt. I think we can do this to do trad body. Great. Are you okay with that? I'm I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a bunch of trad body submissions. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. But if you're <laughs> still going to send, there's still time to send in a trad body um, submission if you want to participate in our 80s themed traditional music music video yep um with jimmy jimmy wards jim wards as the background music yep. um and also the moo number five we have a lot of strange things that we do i'm realizing yeah. as i talk about this moo number five i think we're also going to release that on the 31st so i'll be in touch with people who are doing that shortly and i think that's it for december right did i miss anything uh, oh trident of course trident is ongoing so yeah. Yeah. Oh, I should mention that Tradvent ends with, with a little, it's not going to be giant, but a little finale performance on January 1st to ring in the new year as part of the whole yeah. thing. So, um, Yeah, and then other upcoming things. We're going to do a concert. Actually, Ruby is help, uh, help, helping arrange this. We're going to do a, a virtual concert with Celtic Fiddle Festival, which I don't think mm -hmm. they've done anything online maybe ever. I'm not sure. Yeah. So that's going to be great with Kevin Burke and his, and his band. Okay. I think that's it. So we have some more tunes? Yeah, we have one more set from The Lads. So The Lads. Yeah, here we go. Okay, everybody. We're going to continue with a, a uh, set of reels. The Merry Blacksmith, uh, Sporting Paddy, and um, Speed the Plow. And these are in the key of, keys of D, A minor, and D. And uh, Matt will play them twice three times and two times and and uh, Matt if uh, I will be talking to you but I uh, hope you have a great Christmas I know it's only the beginning of December but uh, we might not see each other for a while and uh, everybody out there uh, happy Christmas happy new year and um, yeah everybody take care one, two, three, and...
everybody. Stay safe. Lovely. <laughs> that was lovely. Lovely. Um, I like when John leads the virtual session and the regular session, but especially the virtual session because he knows all of the regular Mario's tunes and plays them, like yes. the, sta the standards, which, some, which our guests always play beautiful stuff, but yeah. he knows the, the list, the secret list. Oh, your mom's back. Oh, she woke up. She had to drive back to Antioch. Oh, she had to drive. Okay, well, it's good she wasn't watching. Carol, did you, did you have the session on in the car? Um, I hope she Hopefully did not, not. have Maybe the on the Bluetooth, just the audio. Oh, maybe on the Bluetooth, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, my mom's heading back to Alaska yep. shortly. Right. Scary. Um, stay safe, Mom. Wear your mask and your face shield. Um, okay, what, I, what was I going to say? Oh, I, <laughs> I saw that John changed into his Toons Play shirt. Yes. And I, I hope John won't get mad at me for saying that um, I, I know that John has that shirt in three colors, yes. which I love. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it's that's great, and he looks good in all of them. He does. Yeah. Um, I have to say, I think that the green suits him. He does look. Maybe it's the green combined with the green of his walls. That's, yeah, that's true. Yeah, the that's the nice. red was nice too, actually. Yeah. Um, anyways, okay. So we're gonna play one more set here, but I'll just um, say that next week we have a session that has been in the works for months, actually. Yeah. Because we started planning it with Louisa while we were in Alaska. Yep. So Louisa Benny, and you might remember her from our, um, uh, there, for a while there we were traveling around the world with this session. Um, she did our France session um, many months ago, and she asked if she could do a second France session, and we of course said yes. Um, and the theme of that one is going to be road trip because she traveled around the country. I can't remember what the situation was. She was working on a documentary film That's project, right. I believe. Yes. She's a yes. filmmaker um, in some capacity, I'm not yeah. sure what. And so she was traveling around rural France to all these tiny villages um, making a film. Yes. And I think there was an actual in-person festival, small one, that she visited so, yeah. as well. Yeah. Anyway, so, she, so we're going to have tunes from France in the summer next week, which will be nice, I think. Yeah. Um, and Chris and I were just talking. We might move back to the 8 p.m. time. We're not sure. We'll send an email to the mailing list and put it on Facebook. So um, if you're not on the mailing list, make sure to get on it. It's down in the description. Or go be our, our friend on Facebook. Um, yeah, that'll be the best way to, to figure it out. I see that people really have been enjoying the slower pace of the session. Uh, so have we. Yes. Yeah. Really we, great pace tonight, John and Matt, so thanks for that. Yes. And we'll keep this last set uh, on the slower side, too. Absolutely. And um, since this is the 50th session, I wanted to end with um, what what became the ending set at the real Mario's. And I, I don't remember why this happened because it's the first tune is not Irish. Right. <laughs> but this is kind of like the traditional ending set from the beginning, five, six years ago, whenever we started. Um, a show can farewell, beautiful tune, not Irish, but that's, that's what we usually play. And then we usually play one or two reels after that. Um, we often play the Silver Spire, um, but tonight I want to do Feral O'Gara, which is one of the other traditional ending tunes. Um, on Ashokin, we will play it the uh, Mimi Buell style, which I prefer, which is A, B, A, B for the format, not two A's, two B's. Great. I think that makes it more interesting. So maybe two times on that, and then we'll play the reel um, at, a, at a reasonable speed. Okay. Okay. So D major on the first one. Actually, the both of them, yeah. Did you just wipe the sweat the sweat from your brow? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs>
uh, TJ was saying that was making him feel all the feels. All the feels. From missing everybody. And um, yeah, thank you to everybody who has stuck with us through, uh, through thick and thin. Mm-hmm. Mostly thick yep. or thin, I don't know. <laughs> mostly. <laughs> mostly one of those. Over the last um, nine months, uh, yeah. we did not think we were going to make it to 50, as we mentioned at the at the start here. And uh, we're not sure what the next year holds. Hopefully, we will be able to gather in person at some point at Mario's. And Peter mm-hmm. Rahill was saying that he hopes to visit the real Mario's someday. You'd be welcomed with open arms, Peter. Absolutely. As soon, I as, we can, <laughs> as, soon as we can all play, play in the bar again. <laughs> I I'm I'm imagining if everybody from the internet comes to the actual session, it would actually it would be over capacity. Yeah, it's already quite full when everybody comes yeah. from from Mario's. Yeah. But we we will make do. We'll flow out onto the streets, play for play for everybody on the streets. Um, here's hoping that that happens. Um, okay, so let's see. Oh, contribute if you can. Yes, please. Um, Throw to... a couple of bucks in the in the bucket up here. Yes, uh, that's how we pay everybody. I know we say this all the time. Um, it's and it's also how we determine whether we should continue. I, not, I that sounds like I'm pressuring you, but <laughs> it is how we decide whether this whole thing keeps going. Yes. Um, and obviously, we want to uh, only do it if it's worthwhile for for you. Yeah. Um, and uh, we do like providing mu- uh, work for musicians, which Certainly. was the whole goal. It's the whole of point of Tune Supply. Tune Supply. Yeah, everyone lost all their gigs, and yes. so we're we're trying. thankful to to put a few bucks back into people's pockets yes and so. thankful to uh, you all for keeping this going um it's it's through your generosity that we made it to 50 yeah um okay do you want to do the thanks yeah um john and matt are super stars. supply superstar all-stars here thank you guys for another spectacular session and it's always great to have Martin and Aiden on. I think Aiden's only been on the session maybe one other time, right? I was trying to think if he has at all. Yeah. Has he? I don't know. One or maybe once. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Martin and Aiden, thank you so much. Uh, great stuff. And we'll see Aiden again next week. Yes. Oh, and and uh, Andrew Finn McGill mm-hmm. next week right? as well. With Hannah. Um, cool. And don't forget, I'm only mentioning this because it will start before next week. Don't forget if you want to do dig- digital tradvent to sign up before the 7th so that we can get your name on the, um, on the, mailing the list. list. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. Th- I think that's it for tonight. Um, wow. We are, we're doing so good at being on time lately. We're right on time. We're six minutes early. Amazing. All right. Okay. Have a good night, everybody. And please stay safe out there. We will hopefully see you next week. Good night.